Good day, welcome back lords and ladies. In the last episode, we cleared up a bit of space. Um, have some provisions, I'm not comfortable. Like, we got a lot of food. Like, this is the thing, we have enough food to make us buy. We went through and broke down some items and did bits and pieces. The problem with the location that we're in is they do not have a blacksmith. So it makes it actually really hard. Because rather, the, the next blacksmith is that's the last tracking camp the next blacksmith is like back here so we need to go all the way back here but there is a story missing there so i suppose we should go there but we need to figure out what we want to do about this person the scholar said we could make it but it was impossible there were so many monsters they said we were pursuing knowledge knowledge to capture him Okay, so we've got two places. We can take him back to the border. Condemned to talk. Missing. Personally, from the sound of it, I think... Like, surrounded by his dead friends and allies, and they say he's using... They, basically, this is a witch hunt, in my opinion. It feels like... The thing is, like, they said he crossed the border because he got lost, but he was with a party. Take the soldier to the, uh, the Ludern judges. Take the soldier to Professor Hadwig. Problem is, if we take him to the judges, it feels like he'll just get, like, a, a hung... He'll just basically get a, 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 a kangaroo caught and be, like, killed for that reason. Like, who the hell are these guys? Ah, mercenaries. Looking for a plague remedy, are we? Don't bother asking anyone else. We're the only ones who sell it around here. Okay, let's take the recipe. I'm only taking... I, I, I just want to try and get as many recipes and stuff as possible. So that's useful for fighting plague victims. Okay. I'm going to try and take the soldier out of the region. If I'm being honest. Because I feel like he'll just get... If we take him to the court, they'll just string him up. What's this? Each region has its own scenario and you can follow its progress. It's so hard to figure out because... It feels like he was sent in with a group of soldiers to investigate the area. And the thing is, she lied to us. The professor lied to us, because if I remember exactly, it was that he, she said that he just wandered across the border and disappeared. But it said he was sent in with his companions. Okay. I've changed my mind. We're going to go back and take him to the court. But if they just got to string him up for being like an intruder, I will kill him. Because not being nasty, it's it sounds like he got set up. Might I interest you, my humble wares? My okay. I'll take that and I'll take the bread. And there's... Leave me alone, you blasted guards. The problem is there's so many of them, fighting them is never fun. Okay, so if we take him in... Did you catch him? Found this man alone among the dismembered bodies of his companions. We have no idea how he got there, but his clothes speak for themselves. Any stranger from Alazar setting foot in Harag is to be punished. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Like, I don't care about your law, mate. Like, he got tricked to coming here by someone else. All his mates are dead. And you're just going to kill him because 
of how stuff went in the last war. So no, I'm I'm not helping you with that. Uh, this isn't great. We need to get off the beaten trail. I would take him back to the professor, but I pref I suspect the professor is probably the one involved with a lot of this because of how the bloke's talking. But I just don't like the idea of they're going to string him up because it's their rules which basically say, oh yeah, well, you, you wandered in here and now you've got to die from it. But you would. The, the problem with that kind of mentality is that the moment that you do that to their people and they stray into an area, it's the worst thing imaginable and you're like some kind of horrible person. Right. Do that. If he runs off... Okay, no. So he got whipped... If this unit is whipped again, they'll die. We can use the Folk Remedy on him. Um, but yeah, like I'm just going to keep beating you because you're pain in the ass, to be honest. Um, could have some people playing games, but our morale is fine. A companion who wants to leave the group. Who? Who wants to leave the group? Oh, it's... it's you, isn't it? Hates a troop, yeah. I find that really stupid as a companion who wants to leave the group. I mean, that's... this is the thing that I find a bit weird, is that it's basically saying... wary... Feels unhappy to be guarded by animals like me. Cattle hates the troop. Well, yeah, well, nuts to you, mate. I know there's the whole like prison mechanic when we should be able to sort of get him to like us and all this kind of thing, but I'm not going to faff around with it because it's. As much as I like this game, there are elements of it that make no sense. It's like, oh, you have to keep your prisoners happy and contempt because otherwise they'll run away. And it's like, can't we just literally just beat it out of him? Like, he is a prisoner. If we point out that if he tries to run, we will make him his life like a living hell if he tries to run and we catch him, would probably like keep him less inclined to do it. I don't know. It just feels... It feels like one of those annoying elements of the game where they expect you to sort of jump through loopholes to get uh, to get basically prisoners not to run away all the time. I mean, I can understand in some regards how it wouldn't work in real life. Ugh, this border crossing is such a pain. And of course, we, we can't get through because of the guard and the fact we're wanted. This is one of the reasons I dislike... This is one of the reasons I dislike the um, the suspicion system. Because I find it very tedious. Have you rescued our soldier? Yeah. I see you can no longer disclose anyone's plans. You could have spared yourself the hassle of freeing him, I suppose. But never mind, we have him now. Our scholars will find a use for him. As for you, here is your reward, with the compliments of Alazar and its university. Yeah. You handed the soldier over to Alazar. 
Despite the prohibited eff- pro- prohibitions affecting them, the Alzheimer's scholars seem to have found a way into Luden. You know, who knows what they're planning? To progress in our explore the region, put information from the informants. You handed the soldier over to Alistair. The thing is that the thing is if we gave the soldier to the, the court, they just kill him anyway out of hand. So it seems uh, waiting for the... I was told to go to the we should be able to I just that feels like a scenario of no good outcome. Let me pray in So we go there and talk, it's like, oh have you found him? Blah blah blah. No, we haven't. Okay. Right, can we actually get back into the region? Oh. Come on. Leave us alone, mate. I hate this map. This map sucks if you're wanted in it. Because it's a bottleneck. Can we sneak past this way? We can. Yeah, it's just a horrible bottleneck map. We know where the bandit camp is also. Where's the smuggling camp? They said they knew where the smuggling camp was. Look for the smuggling hideout. Didn't they tell us we gave them a cure? Was it here, maybe? That's what they were talking about. Because we cured someone and they basically said they knew where the base was. Okay. No, go and find out where at location. Yeah. They're asking us to find it, but they said they knew where it was. I wish it marked on the map better. It's one of these things where if you go go away from the game and come back, you can't figure out where some of the things are. Okay. Let's use the smithy. Oh, we can't. I keep on forgetting you use the alchemical stuff to make materials in this game every single time. Okay. Um, crit hit and dex. They should all be... I mean, we could switch her stuff out, I suppose. Make some more throwing knives would probably be a good idea. And we have enough ghost throwing knives. It's the poison ones we need to make. Yeah, because we're getting a bit low on them. We need to make the poisoned ones.
take coal some rim steel. Helmets. Yeah, I, I, can I be honest, I really dislike the fact that they split up the crafting stations between multiple villages. Living in the swamp isn't always easy, but it's our clan's way. The elders say what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Flambeard, 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 ox swine. Make some more... We'll make some more, um, stew. Or braised ribs, technically. Okay, got a little bit of stuff we can sell, a little bit of money. Living in the swamp isn't always easy, but it's our clan's way. The elders say what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Okay. Can't upgrade it. Let's sell those things for cast into light and our weight load. We'll also sell those things as well. Okay. Um, if you want to rest, it saves us food. We got a progression point, which is fantastic. Your troop can add objective markers to the map. So is that this? We can add objective markers to the map. But yeah, I think it is. Okay. Gotta grab just grab the last rim steel throwing stuff that unlocks the last last group of that tier. People got paid. Right, so we need to figure out. We need to figure out um, how to find the smugglers. They're nearby somewhere. Because the game said they were. We cleared out Hangman's tree. Goddamn plague infected. Leave us alone, please. Might I interest you in my humble wares, my good sirs? Neither of these can be upgraded. Okay. Aren't you attack a caravan or something? Oh great, so they've got a trigger on us before we can... Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Right, Montgomery Farm. Anything here we can use? As I told the judge and the guard, my wife is not here. We're here for Moritagra's wife. We're not leaving without her. Witnesses saw a plague-ridden monster bite her. There's no doubt she's been contaminated. We sympathize with her family, but according to Harag's law, 
It is forbidden to protect someone who could be a danger to the community. She must die. Uh, let's pick his lock. The thing I always find really strange about this situation is... I can understand where they're coming from because the plague in this game is really dangerous. But at the same time, it's like... They don't have the cure because of how they react to outsiders by the looks of it. It's that the people want to explore the ruins, they consider the ruins sacred. So they have tents from that and as a result, the people that they're dealing with won't trade with them and all that kind of stuff. It just, I understand where it's coming from. It's talks of law. Please, no, don't tell anyone. Yeah, so she's infected. Let's give her the cure. I can't believe it. There are no marks left. I'm doing well. I even feel like eating bread. Let's talk to the guard. They have no reason to look for me now. You cured this woman? What sorcery is this? I see. You had one of those Alazarian remedies. That's very generous of you mercenaries. But moving forward, I'd think twice about how I use my resources if I were you. It's next to impossible to find these in Ludern. And now, we'll take our leave. We're done here. Mercenaries, I don't even know where to start. You just saved our whole family. That we crossed paths was a gift from the gods. In turn, I have one for you. Please accept it. A tooth collar. That's actually a really good item. I mean, I can understand where they were coming from because in an area where the plague remedies aren't acceptable or aren't actually accessible, um, the plague victims will be a problem because they'll basically go rabid and attack people. But at the same time, you'd think that you'd have... Yes, you, they, they won't sell into the region, but you would think they would have hired merchants to go outside of the region to buy the cure and bring it in or smuggle it in. I mean, they, they don't, the problem is they seem to have picked an issue with the smugglers as well. Ready to die for me. I don't know. It's, 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 it seems like half the issues they're having at the moment is their own um, problems. So that's crit hit. Uh, crit hit, yeah. Friendship thing is fine, but I'll put the crit hit on him. Get it up. Higher crit hit for our wolves. Okay. So that's done. I mean, we should still have enough. Are you kidding me? How about you just leave me alone? This is a cursed village. What's up here? You found my discovery skill manual. Okay. I have things to chase. Which is always nice. So we can use the skill manual to upgrade our character. Okay. Can't do it on the animals. Inspire. Always land to create against enemies without guard, which is powerful. First time the, students get, um, the first time they disengage during the turn, they gain inspiration for run round, which doubles their movements. So that works in good combination with, with defensive repost. Uh, 
the uh, first attack of each fight deals an extra 50% damage. Draws with them. Oh, so that's the, if we get the upgraded version, everything becomes a lot weaker to him then. Okay. Fervent support. Prepared. That generates rage. Damage increased for an attack for the amount equal to target's guard. Oh, ooh, that's powerful. Um, used more than twice. Basically, it can be reused in a round. You're upgraded. Every two attacks apply vulnerability and gain fury. More actually, that's pretty good at more than six meters. So, bow is 10, so basically, it gives a lot more tactical flexibility. Or we can upgrade that, which is a one extra person enters the zone. Um, get another ability. There's some good ones. I mean, that's probably the biggest one, which is counterattack. Which is the first time they disengage during the turn, they gain inspiration, which has improved their movement speed. Um, but it's quite situational, to be honest. But it's a nice combination. Increased. You're fully upgraded. Your stuff is... That just increases the area. I mean, to be honest, that one is powerful. Like, I'm, I'm basically going to do this one because that means that when you pull them in, all their stuff now, like you pull them in, anyone pulled in gets fragile, and then we do the AOE spin. Thirty percent more damage is a lot of damage. Okay. Nothing up here besides woods. Um, we can't get to the... Okay, so the guard is fighting the plague infector, which is good. And then they won. Okay, so what's here? Masker took place. All the soldiers were wearing Alazar armors. The problem is in this game, sometimes it's really hard to see which ways you can go. I don't want to get in the way of the bloodthirsty thing, so they'll just eat all my stuff. Yeah, let's rest.
You're not injured, injured anymore, you're just fatigued. While we're here, is there anything that we can cook? Yeah, beef infused ribs. So we'll keep us going for a while. And it's managed to escape, of course. So the prisoner ran off. Is he nearby? I'm not going to bother looking for him if he is. No, oh, wait, we need to go. No, we actually need to go to the... Coffer carry shop. Because it's where we make our more advanced stuff. Okay. And getting rim steel in this game is such a pain. Need to make some more. Personally, I'm happy just using the basic. Oh, we need more fish oil. You won't find any plague remedies in this shop. Alazar refuses to give it. Yeah, but if you stopped killing them for every time they walked onto your territory, it'd probably be the reason why. Um. Nah, I'm gonna... I'll make one batch. Just for the point. And then we'll make just normal, regular poisoned ones. Okay. So we basically got here by spending, just making a ton of knives, good to know. Level 11, all companions gain plus 4 critical damage per discovered, yeah, per discovered sepulchre, which is like a, a end game location. Archaeologists. Cat. The thing is, animals will reduce aggression range and give up after uh, give up the chase faster. That could be useful, but let's just boost the money we get from doing that. Okay. Come on, why doesn't the game kick us out in the place we want to go? The camera controls in this game can be really a pain. Okay. Ah, mercenaries. Looking for a plague remedy, are we? Don't yeah. bother asking anyone else. We're the only ones who sell it around here. Okay, so we'll grab the plague remedy because it's useful. We can't attack them. Yeah, I know we had to pay our bills next turn. I also want to see what happens if we go up to the circle. They're probably just going to complain that we didn't turn the bloke over for execution. Disappeared. Curses. We never should have relied. Screw you too.
Okay, so they're attacking the guard. Oh, come on. What's here? Colonel. Okay. We can open that up. Erdorian historian Melensi. Watch your step. This place is steeped in history. Not much remains of the war between Harag and Edoran. Most of it was destroyed or swallowed by the swamps. Isn't it incredible that a 30 year conflict between two powerful kingdoms can vanish from the land and our memories a mere 50 years later? Quite humbling, isn't it? I mean, he's not wrong, to be honest. So a golden key gets us in. Cornell's Cornell de Torres treasure. So is the location of a treasure. Conquest of Harag was child's play of a clan spread out across the marshland, offered little resistance on the battlefield, barely slowing down our legion's progress. Continue reading the journal. I almost seem to have been named governor of the den as we were victorious, not because of our strength, but because of the enemy's weakness. Nevertheless, I promise to hold this office with dignity. I aim to usher, usher this backward region into a modern era by building a village that will rival those of the other civilized lands. I will call it Lefiri. Lefiri. Look at all this. Scrolls, maps, and this. Isn't it a plan outlining the siege of Garusha? There's even a report signed by General Edor himself. New recruits just arrived from Ar Ar Arathis. Judging by the expressions on their faces, they were not impressed by us. Ever since the play decimated the theory, troop morale has been low. Ladurn resistance resistant attacks have intensified. Cardinal mosquitoes are harassing our, our ceaselessly, and even the croc swine have grown bolder and are snapping at our troops. I am not as strong as I used to be, and I fear the same is true of General Elador. We have no choice but to call a truce. Uh, lucky Charm, which is damage taken from attack to... Yeah, okay. Room of Steel, Throwing Knives, Collar of Unity. Okay. Half surprised to find someone, here, someone up here trying to kill us because we know secrets or something. Okay. So, where is this map? Okay, so it's another treasure map. That looks like the hunter's encampment, I think. I have to check it out. Some of these treasure maps can be really pain to use. Okay. That's the large hunter's camp. They won't talk to us because the person's missing. Or something's missing or something strange is going on. Uh, 
Um, there's a job up here. And some other bits and pieces. Might I interest you in my humble wares, my good sirs? No, it's fine. Okay. There's the tower we need to clear out, so let's go and get that done. We haven't had any combat this episode. Oh lord, that's a massive swarm. Sweet. Like, how many is that? Uh, Elden Watchtower... Level 8. That's a ton of people. Let's see if we can sneak past the horde. And get to the derelict farm. Is there anything else here? Okay, we need to get some more lockpicks made really quick. Uh, I gave up on that guy. It's just not worth the effort trying to go and find him. One thing I don't understand is one of the companions wants to leave. Oh, it's not. A companion will want to leave your troop. Okay. Listen, I read that wrong. That's my own mistake. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is the smuggler's location. Okie dokie. I think this is a good place to end it for the episode, folks. I've been Connor Snipe. We found the smuggler's location. I thought it was up here. And we will take care of business. I shall see you all again next time. Goodbye, lords and ladies.